Hello and welcome to day six of my challenge, turn your shadows into your strings. Hidden within your shadows, these various rep repressed pieces of us are our strength. It's our gift. It's what other people didn't like, but it's really who we are. I mean, my parents, it drove them crazy that I had this big personality as a child. So I was always getting in trouble. I was always talking in class. I was always spending too much time in the hallway, chit-chatting, running around, believe it or not, trying to heal people. Even as a child, I was doing it. So it drove them crazy. So I learned to bury that gift away. So the way to begin to start finding these shadows, and I, and I am going to try to convince these videos down because I think eight, nine minutes is a bit much. But um, if you want to watch the longer videos, they're over on my YouTube channel. Um, so we're going to do the Empowered Movie Routine today. And... Well, it's actually called the Empowered Movie Review. And what I want you to do is I want you to go find a comfortable place. Quiet, you're just by yourself. Because you need, you know, I suggest a half hour. But maybe the first time you do this, you might buzz through it. Because a lot of times people are worried about what they'll see. So they'll go through it really quick. But I want you to go in your, eye, in your mind's eye, close your eyes. Three deep breaths in, out, in, out, in and out. And just relax. And just tell the universe, I accept whatever you show me. I accept it with love. And you're going to do the Empowered Movie Review. So you're going to, in your mind's eye, in your vision, you're going to visualize this. You're going to go up to movie theater. I know for some of you that aren't sure what movie theater is, Google it. You're going to go to movie theater to the box office where people used to buy tickets at. And you're going to get your ticket. And then the billboard in the um, marquee, it's going to say, the great story of your name. So for me, it was the empowered story of Karen Barno. And you walk in, you buy your popcorn, you get your pop, whatever treat you want. You know, for those of you healthy folks, or, you know, salary. And go in and sit down and watch the curtains open and it starts out the story of you. And just run through your story from the earliest first memory all the way up to this moment. When you hit the good good parts and the really successful parts of in your mind, you hear the crowd applauding. When you hit some of the low points, you hear the crowd going, oh, I hope, I hope she overcomes this. And then when you get to the end, everybody's applauding because you're sitting there and they're like, yes, you did it. You over, you've overcome things. You've accomplished things. What a great life. And then get out a pencil and paper and write down everything you saw, the good and the bad. Because usually when you do this, and you may not the first time, you may need to do this a couple times, is you'll start seeing things you might have forgot of, but you didn't, or you didn't realize the impact on it. The first time I did this was a wow moment because there had been a lot that I had pushed back in my memories that I didn't want to remember that I was seeing in this video. But conversely, I saw a lot of good achievements that I didn't even remember that I accomplished in you know my early years. You know the awards I got in school and you know the the good things that I did. But this is a good way to start looking at your shadows, to start bringing out what common themes you see. Is there a common thread weaving through a common thread of success and a common thread of failure that maybe right before you start doing really amazing things, something bad happens? And, you know, it's also called self-sabotage. Or, you know, you had trauma in your past, and you're starting to look at the trauma. It helps you put meaning to it. When you can start understanding the trauma, you can start putting meaning to it. And, and next week, we're going to start looking at the subconscious rule and, and how to really get into these. But you really got to start looking at your shadows. So do the Empowered Movie Review. I do it. I still do it a lot. Um, well, when I say a lot, I probably do it every, you know, about twice a year. But when I was first trying to heal all my shadows from my childhood, I would do this a lot because I found the first time, a couple times I did it, when I would get to the part of the movie I didn't want to see, because it's my story, I would just move past it. I would just like, nope, or I'd, or I'd make myself wake up and be like, nope, I'm not looking at that. You know, I'd shake myself out of it. But you want to, at the end, you want to move out, of, you want to hear them applaud for you, you want to come out of the theater, you want to look back, book up, back up at the um, marquee, and maybe it says the number one movie of the year, number one movie of 2023, you know, the story of you. Because that will help you embrace it. And just get out your, your notebook or where you're keeping your notes at. Uh, I didn't bring mine with me. However you're keeping your notes and just start writing down everything you saw, everything you felt. People that came in. That was one of the interesting things I saw was the people that, that would come in 
to my life that I didn't even, you know, I vaguely remember them. But the profound role some of that had on my life, the profound role some of my teachers had, and the profound roles that, you know, next door neighbors had was really fascinating to me. You know, I had next door neighbors that we just quit being friends and I never really knew why. You know, they, they, they were travelers, so they would live in towns and leave, but you know, they were there for a while and I just, I thought I couldn't decide if it was because they moved or what. And when I did this movie review, I saw it and it really kind of hurt what happened, but it, would, it helped me put meaning to it. So look for the common patterns, the common threads, get out a piece of paper, start writing it down because we're going to get into how to heal these shadows. Okay, let me know if you have any questions, write it in the, com the comments below. Um, if you're interested in coaching with me, my coaching program, um, my coaching will be available beginning, where are we sitting in today? I think it's Tuesday. Um, beginning by Thursday, it'll be posted to the um, to my website, karenbarner.com. I am going to start doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. I stopped for a while um, through the winter months because it would get really busy at work. But I'm going to do it through the summer months so if you're interested in coaching. Or you can reach out to me and just say, hey, you know, I'd like to set up a quick phone call with you to coach. I hope this helped you guys. If you have anything you want to learn, please put it in the comments below. And here's to you finding your blue rose. Have a great day, y'all.